Okay, guys, um, the name of our project is Quick Partners, and the name of our company is uh, Two Headed Eagle Technologies. Now, um, basically, this is just the outline of our project. You know, very simple, pretty similar to what we're all doing. And um, let me start ahead with the uh, motivation for the project. Now, uh, pretty much the motivation for this project is to uh, solve a common problem that, you know, many people have experienced. I've experienced it many, many times. And um, basically, the uh, overall design is to, uh, when parking a vehicle, you know, on the street, it's necessary to pay for the meter, you know, which is obvious. Doesn't seem like too much of a problem, you know, but uh, pretty much in the day and age that we are today, everything's getting easier, everything is finding a solution, pretty much through the use of computers and technology, and definitely helping us get to that next level. So, um, you know, pretty much it could be several different situations. Let's say it's a very bad weather day, it's snowing, it's raining. You know, it's, uh, it's tough to get to the muni meter to get that ticket paid for, get back to your car, put the ticket on your window, get out of the car and go about your business. It could be a day where, you know, you're just stopping at the store to get a cup of coffee, you're running in and out, or you're just in a rush. You want to go about your business and get your job done. This basically helps make that a little bit more convenient. You can sit in your car, pay for your parking, and through the use of our system, it would display a ticket, it would display payment on your windshield, and uh, that would be the whole, pretty much, process of paying for parking. Um, you know, pretty much, that's going to be the main concept of the idea. Uh, we're hoping that this would help reduce people, you know, getting parking tickets. This would reduce people having to go to court to fight tickets maybe they shouldn't have received. Um, also, it's going to be beneficial not just to the customer, but also to the city of whatever city that actually does purchase the technology. Now, this is going to be, you know, hopefully less parking attendants having to go ahead and check, uh, you know, for unpaid tickets, less tickets being given out, um, less court fees, regulation fees, you know, all types of time that's going to be wasted unnecessarily. And uh, also, this would hopefully get more tickets, you know, more meters paid for, and would cause a lot less grief for everybody involved. So that's the main design of uh, our project. You can go to the next slide, please. All right, so for our product description, um, we will be constructing a mobile application that you will be able to use to uh, pay for your, um, your parking meter tab um, so that we can eliminate you having to uh, walk, whether it's across the street or down the street, to perhaps a uh, broken meter to pay. Uh, we'll, uh, the mo the mo uh, mobile application the user interface uh, that we'll use to be able to input uh, you connect a credit card or something. Um, it will allow for you to uh, show uh, various options as to how long you wish to park. Um, and also it will display on a little LCD screen your, uh, your receipt as well as uh, a QR code. And they will oscillate between each other. Um, it will be um, around three to five seconds. We haven't really thought too much about like I'll quickly walk say between them. Um, uh, the components, the control system uh, with the display module, and we'll use a Bluetooth the, uh, network adapter. Um, and then we'll also utilize a customer registration network database that we could use um, in tandem with uh, whatever city, whether it's uh, New York City or Chicago, or basically any big area that has uh, a lot of people in it. Okay. Um, Pretty much um, our team is, you know, me and Michael, me and Michael Moon. Uh, the name of our company is Two Headed Eagle Technologies. Um, pretty much this is our first project in this company. Uh, we're hoping that this could be a cutting edge, you know, upcoming company. Pretty much focused on bringing, you know, new solutions to, you know, old, old situations. Uh, paying for parking is obviously something that's been around for a very, very long time. And we feel it's time for that to evolve and change into what we have the vision for the coming. Um, our pretty much, uh, you know, our company is based on hoping to get those new solutions to those those type of problems. Um, the members of our team are, like I said, Michael Moore and myself, Daniel the Pool Guy. Um, each member of our team was responsible for several tasks related to our project. Um, more than we displayed here, but for the most part, what we had Michael do was he was responsible for the scheduling of our work. Um, as far as the scheduling, we did make sure that we reached our deadlines, make sure that we got to our deadlines, accomplished our goals, but we did it efficiently. <coughs> Not only did we get it done in time, hopefully, but we did do it efficiently and, and uh, solve the problems that we were looking to get solved. 
Um, for myself, I was typically responsible for our risk analysis. We set up a few different options as, as far as our design, how we could present it. And um, I was hoping that I could pretty much weigh our system, weigh our designs, and see which one would be a better option, better suited for what we're trying to accomplish. And uh, also, I am responsible for the testing of our equipment, uh, preparing our test plan. What we do uh, uh, you know, hope to get, get done as far as our testing is, we're looking to test our prototype equipment. Because where we are in this phase of this project is typically prototype equipment. Uh, we're hoping to get a mock system that is capable of doing everything that we want it to do. We want to create our system, but it's not going to be a finished product as far as the look and the feel of our system. It's going to be a mock system, but like I said, fully functional. And uh, we're hoping that uh, our, our test environment at right now, our anticipated test environment, is going to be New York City. Very congested, very busy streets, very busy situation. And if we can make our system work in New York City, we're confident we can make it work anywhere else in any other city in the world. So well, we can go on to our next slide. Um, so our system requirements would be uh, a QR code reader. Um, for, for our abilities for right now, uh, just a Raspberry Pi 3 res uh, along with digital monitor, um, a smartphone so that we'll be able to use the mobile application we design. Uh, a network database and a Bluetooth ONG network adapter. Um, every, everything on here, we uh, everything we have on here is pretty much uh, given to us, and we will be uh, figuring out in the upcoming future how we can uh, simplify or as uh, try to save money. With yeah, basically now, um, you know, like he's trying to say, most of that equipment there is you know stand equipment that we have here in the labs in Manhattan College. And um, that's capable of creating our mock system. But uh, we are looking into what's going to be the most efficient, what's going to be the best cost-wise. Those you know, uh, components that we have there are just for our mock system. And pretty much everything there is going to change. Um, the system that we pretty much designed is in tandem with our QR code. And uh, we are looking to get a, a system of reading that QR code. Another way we can have that done is for the most part, most people today have a smartphone which is totally capable of reading a QR code. So um, it might not even be necessary to have each parking attendant have a QR code scanner to read the, the codes. It can possibly be done with you know less equipment and uh, less training, which is definitely something we're, we're interested in making sure that we accomplish. This is just a brief module system you know, description and our basic Goal, our main idea is to create a very, very simple you know, system, something that's extremely minimal with, uh, with a high functionality. So in this case, like we're trying to display, we're going to have a user, uses a smartphone. On the smartphone, we're going to have our mobile application. Through the use of that mobile application, we're going to pay for parking. And um, in our vehicle, we're going to have our uh, low, uh, Bluetooth low energy connection you know, attached to our uh, Raspberry Pi with our Raspberry Pi digital monitor. And uh, once that's paid for, it would uh, display on our screen. Uh, what we decided to do is actually toggle the screen from having the QR code with, you know, behind it being all the information that we're talking about. And we're gonna have that toggle with an image of a typical parking meter payment ticket that you would get from a meter meter. And um, in, the, you know, in the behind the scenes of this project is gonna be our network database which is going to have customer registrations, everything that you know involves the customer's uh, credit card. Pretty much what we need to have that ticket paid for is all going to be behind the scenes with our network, with our server behind the scenes. Okay, we'll go to our next slide. Okay, so uh, so our key log. Uh, uh, simple picture display. It's very simple picture display. So we'll have obviously, like I mentioned earlier, the mobile application that you'll have on your uh, on your cell phones. We'll give uh, a product. We'll give you a small tag uh, that will have uh, an LCD screen on there which will project, um, like my uh, colleague said, your, your ticket receipt and the QR code so that um, if, if the meter may were to come up to it and want to check the validity of uh, the price you paid, you can just simply scan it and then we'll have access to your registration and all that to uh, keep accountability in check. And uh, we'll have a, a network database that will uh, that we hope to um, be in collaboration with, uh, whether it's the city or the police department, so that they know that um, they have access to uh, 
so that nobody can just simply just put onto their tag that they paid for whatever X amount of time without actually paying for it. So basically, that um, that slide was just to show the simplistic, um, you know, design that we're looking to uh, implement. Um, one thing we want to do is we want to try to implement a system that would have no downtime to as far as the, the model, the diagram that is used right now today in the system that's already being used. We want to be able to make sure that this is a system that gets plugged in with no, no, you know, hard time being able to understand it for a user or no hard time being able to, uh, you know, comply with it for a parking attendant. We're expecting this to be a very quick and easy um, installment, and uh, that's why we believe we have something exciting that could definitely be beneficial to everyone involved. Uh, what we did was we created a, uh, a simple way to score uh, chart, and um, we basically went ahead and you know, had a few different criteria, and we also gave each criteria an importance out of 100, basically. Um, well, Always when you're building something that you're looking to make a profit from, cost is going to be your you know, main attention. So out of our 100%, 40% of that you know, criteria of importance is going to be cost. Uh, training for um, our parking attendants, we're going to be using the uh, software, using the equipment rather. Uh, delivery would basically be you know, how can we actually get it into the customer's hands, into the city's hands for, uh, for use. Licensing, performance, and uh, research you know, to, to create this uh, equipment. Now, um, with uh, our option one, what we uh, went ahead and decided to uh, do is have a system that when we go ahead and pay for payment, it would display on our in-vehicle LDC display, it would just basically show in a spitting image of our, like when you go to a muni meter and pay for the meter, it would print out a ticket, we would have an identical image you know, like that on our LCD display. So that would be our option one. Now, the reason we believe that would be the easiest way is because there is no QR code, there is no scanners for QR codes. A parking attendant would simply walk up to the car, look at the image and say, the meter's paid. Now, um, an issue that we saw that could possibly arise is even though it wouldn't be an easy thing to do, it could be counterfeited, it could be something where, uh, you know, very tech, tech, you know, handy person would be able to possibly create that image on their own, but not really necessarily, you know, expecting that to happen. Now, in option two, we decided to possibly change the system only in one way. Instead of having our image display, display an image of our ticket, you know, payment, we would have our image be of a QR code. So basically, uh, an attendant, a parking uh, meter attendant would be able to walk up to the car, they would see that QR code and they would be able to scan it to confirm payment, to confirm time left on the ticket and um, all that information that they need. As we were pretty much designed, you know, trying to come up with the different options and different ways we can design our system, we thought about possibly having that image toggled from the QR code to our actual image ticket. Um, we got some help from um, some staff here at Manhattan College who you know, helped us out with this decision. And uh, we believe that that would probably be the best way to implement our system. It would take probably a little bit longer to get you know everything you know fulfilled and you know created, but we feel that that would be the best way to get it done. And um, it would do everything we needed to do with the most safeguards that we can you know have have done. So, in our pretty much sum of which would be the highest weighted score, we thought that option three would be our best bet with the toggling of our image. We go to the next slide. Okay, so our, uh, our test plan is uh, fairly simple, we just want to call the very um, highly specific, um, simplistic, but fully um, efficient model, uh, mobile application that we can use, um, be user friendly so that uh, no matter who you are, it would be very simple to create an account um, that will be secured. Um, we also provide a tag that uh, for right now we will be using uh, a Raspberry Pi along with an LCD. LCD screen attached to it, and we use a low energy Bluetooth connection um, to connect our smartphone to it. Um, we weighed the options out and believe that our best option was option three, just to uh, use use both options at the same time instead of just uh, weighing out which one would be would be better or safer for us. Um, several issues related. Uh, the use of our design, and we anticipate collecting all uh, situations and through our testing and modeling and speaking with uh, uh, 
of faculty members that advise us to help us um, just better um, our performance for hardware. Um, another issue that um, I could come across is that uh, we have to we have to make sure that uh, whether it's freezing cold temperatures outside or if it's pouring down with heat in the summer that um, our tag can be sustained and work fully functioning um, through uh, various ranges of temperatures. And our finding, uh, our final testing issue would be uh, confirmation of our location uh, services, uh, key functioning of our system. We need to confirm the location of the device in order to uh, comply with any uh, and all uh, city parking meters and uh, regulations. And then we expect to have tested and uh, we a handful of prototypes so that we can um, demonstrate them and then show them to the uh, to the city uh, for for our case and uh, the New York City, of course. Now, um, now I just want to go a little further into our test plan. Pretty much, um, as far as our connection at the moment, we're we're looking to use a Bluetooth connection, and our range for connection will be 60 meters to about 240 for the max. We're going to be sitting in a car right next to the connection, so. We feel that it's going to be a very, you know, we're going to be well within our range. Um, just like my colleague spoke about, as far as the heat problems and stuff like that, we believe that our equipment's going to be well within the range. One thing we do have to test once we get to that point is uh, we're going to have to see if direct sunlight, once we make our mock, is going to be a problem. We have to get that done in real test equipment. And um, as far as once we're uh, actually at our prototype you know, stage where we have the equipment set up, we want to go through, you know, we're going to use our anticipated uh, test environment as New York City, and we're going to go ahead and test the equipment physically throughout the city and see if it actually is a you know, working product. Now, um, as far as our bill of materials, um, like I said, we are looking to make a very simple system, very easy to use, easy to make uh, system. Um, as of right now, we are expecting to be using a QR code reader, uh, Raspberry Pi with a digital display. Um, one part that um, we have to begin and we want to make sure that we do a very good job with is our smartphone application. Um, that's something that we definitely need to look into. Uh, we're both electrical engineers and we picked the project with very high you know, computer engineering you know, uh, discipline needed. So we do need to get to work on uh, building a mobile application and we anticipate to do that. Um, we need to have a network database to you know, handle all of our uh, registrations, customer credit cards, to make sure that our server behind the scenes is functioning properly. And um, if we actually do use the Raspberry Pi model, uh, model B, I believe, 3 model B, we'll actually have an in-unit uh, in uh, Bluetooth uh, device, Bluetooth low energy. So we might use an adapter for the one that we have and change the, uh, the uh, Raspberry Pi. We'll go ahead and just use the onboard device. Now, um, something that um, you know, uh, we did also consider, as I spoke about earlier, is the um, eliminating of the QR code reader if, in fact, the uh, employees of uh, New York City or whatever city is responsible for buying the equipment can use a smartphone and scan the image from their phone, a QR reader would be uh, handled at that point. And um, also, the equipment that we are using is equipment that we have here at the school. We, we have it on hand. We didn't pay for anything for this uh, project, all the equipment was you know, already this, uh, here for us to use, and um, we're looking to get the most efficient, least power hungry, we want to make sure that we are using the best equipment that we can to get our, our task accomplished. All right, we'll go to the next slide. Okay, so our, our project plan is basically uh, our overall for the first school year, so in, in November I would see just assemble uh, a functional Efficient components combination uh, for December. We uh, we're, we're beginning uh, our smartphone application design. Uh, we we plan to start off with Java and perhaps uh, build an Android application. In the future, we can uh, um, dip into iOS. Uh, January, we'll uh, we'll begin our, uh, our work looking into creating our customer registration and network database. Um, a few of our colleagues mentioned. Um, that they can use the GoDaddy website. Uh, we all have to figure out what, what the city requires of us as far as uh, giving them a, a network database to uh, keep our tags accountable. Uh, in February, we'll integrate our GPS location services and um, to confirm street parking rules and locations so that you can't accidentally pay for parking uh, somewhere where you're not parked. Um, 
and uh, in March we will begin to test our equipment throughout New York City streets to confirm locations and uh, we'll offer our system to respond with which street and allows us to confirm that our product's actually working and this time we'll also be um, contacting uh, the, the, the city um, or the police department to uh, try to um, talk to them about how we can further um, make our um, our product something that is very user friendly to all their staff something that uh, they'll, they'll want to use and that hopefully we can give them a very strong argument as to why they need it. Yeah, well, we did have some work done prior to um, that, that point and at that point it was mostly conceptual coming up with our, uh, our plan and <coughs> once we create our project plan, it's pretty much how we're going to actually make that plan come to fruition. Um, as far as cost analysis, uh, we have a, uh, and this is all very, you know, rough draft as far as what these prices can be. They can be increased, possibly even decreased. But as of right now, we're anticipating to use something pretty close to what we have here. Um, we're expecting our customers to pay per unit to, to use the service about $55 for initial purchase. That's a one-time fee. They get the equipment. Um, by equipment, I mean the in-vehicle you know, display and uh, mobile application. Um, now, we're also going to be charging... So you're just going to have to go to your next slide and finish up. Um, so, it, in summary, we just... Um, we would just like to say thank you for uh, giving us your time and just hearing out our presentation. Uh, we really believe that this product can um, not only benefit the city, but pe um, people that live in the city as a whole and just make things easier as uh, is our jobs as engineers in the future. So thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Okay, one quick question.